All right, guys, here's the other chainsaw I was telling you about. Uh, this chainsaw I've actually had, oh, for a while. Uh, it was one of my supposed to do, uh, actually a while back, but being in the shed, it just kind of got buried, and it's one of those out of sight, out of mind deals. And uh, so we'll take and see what we can do with it. This is a old school Remington. See there, it's 34 cc. You can see that. Oop, knock something over yet. It says 34 cc. You can see in there. Um, it actually has the original case to it. It's in rough shape. But uh, that's the case. It was there. It was in it when I got it. And uh, it's actually in it in the shed. I took it out and went and snack crap will pop coming out of there but case has definitely seen better days this is a Remington uh, Mighty Might Deluxe I think it's where you guys can see it anyway it's a Remington Mighty Might Deluxe this is the apparently there was different versions of it this is the MMD3 and from what I could find out on it it uh, they started producing it. It was actually produced by uh, the Remington Arms Company, as in Remington Firearms, from what I'm being told. And they started production in 1977. And this one, it doesn't have a actual manufacturer year on it. This I just know they started producing them in '77. I guess if you could go off the serial number. And probably narrow it down a little farther, but uh, it's HH7995. Uh, if you actually wanted to try to narrow down the exact year that you know it was manufactured, but they started in '77, where I could read online, and not sure. Yeah, uh, the article I was reading it didn't say when they stopped. It just said it was in '77. Now the bad part about this, see there's no chain on it, the bar's definitely got some rust on it, but it's not real bad. I don't think it's, it's not really pitted. I could probably clean it up real good with a wire wheel, get the track cleaned out. See this side ain't too bad, try to get it cleaned up some. And uh, they said they ran from the, uh, the manufacturer ran... Uh, a couple of different size bars on these. They were, uh, I think, 14 inch and uh, 10 or 12 inch or something like that. But uh, first thing I've ever, well, I don't know, we're seeing uh, this 16, 16 to 1 fuel mixture on them. And if you can see they're not 16 to 1 fuel mixture. And it looks like it's got some funky funk inside the tank, but. Uh, I don't know. So probably need a good flushing before I can actually put fuel in it. But it looks like it was it was orange. Well, it is orange. I see some blue paint on it also. And uh, so I don't know because I see I did notice a couple spots on it where maybe someone had uh, gave it a fresh coat of paint sometime through the years, like the the on and off switch. You wouldn't think at the factory they'd paint. You know, like over the on and off, that screw's painted orange. Uh, it's like it's definitely been a part because I doubt this one screw. See how this one down here is a flathead. That one's not. Was that probably like an eight millimeter or six? You know, something like that, eight millimeter maybe. So I highly doubt that's from the factory. And you can see. Uh, blue paint here and there, so I don't know if maybe it's possibly if it was like a couple different uh, Remington saws combined. So I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about them honestly, but you can definitely see some blue paint down in here, and then the rest of it's orange. And it kind of looks like it's been repainted orange. Um, it's like cast aluminum, and some of it's plastic. But it looks like it's had some usage, and the clutch and everything's there. Um, yeah, you can see some blue in here too. You know, the thing is, I brought it down. I wanted to take the plug out. 
Let's like see what the plug looked like to see if uh, any moisture had set into this thing. Because when we originally bought it, this my wife found this at the thrift store. And I'll tell you, it's been a couple years easy. It's been sitting in the shed, but it's been in its case. But you know, moisture can kind of set in anything anywhere. And uh, popped off. I was going to go ahead and take the plug out to see how it looked. Just make sure nothing was all rusted up. Because it turns over, but it turns over kind of hard. And uh, went to take the plug out, and the socket was slipping. And I said, like, hey, there's no way I got the wrong size socket on it. So I got to looking. I don't know if I can get enough light in there for you to see it, but the plug... Yeah, probably not. But uh, the, anyway, the plug is rounded so I don't know how in the world somebody managed that without really screwing something up I mean you're really torquing a plug to get that to happen and um, so to get that plug out I'll definitely have to take the case apart which I will do if it runs and that was the other part of wanting to get the plug out was I was going to see if it had any fire so now what we're going to do is uh, I'll dump some two cycle down its throat. Of course, I don't have 16 to 1. All I currently have is 40 to 1, but uh, I'll dump a little bit down that carb and see what happens. And it even still has the uh, original sticker on it. Oh, it's upside down. The original sticker from it was from Remington. Tells you everything about it, the fuel mixture ratios, the chain oil, everything. What to look for before you start it, how to start it, the whole deal. I'm surprised that's still on there. It's starting to peel a little bit, but I'm surprised it's still on there. And that was another thing I was, oops, another thing I was looking at. There's a sticker down in here. It looks like it's been uh, painted over. And But it's, it's odd because if they did paint it, there's one here on top unless they taped it off it's the, the actual warning labels up here underneath the handle and they definitely didn't paint it so I don't know if maybe they taped it off so I mean it's hard to tell and this thing's old how old I don't know I just know that according to the article I was reading online they started manufacturing them in 77 so and this one definitely has some years on it but everything moves I mean, the, the linkage moves I don't know if the carb moves or not. I guess we could look and see. That's some crazy air filler. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the carb linkage is moving. Uh, it just has a slide choke. It's different. So it just has a slide choke on it. And everything looks like it's moving. It's got the uh, idle screw. Uh, low setting. This one I'm not sure. I have to read online a little bit to find out about that because there's no markings to show what it is. But it looks like it's some kind of a set screw. Maybe something for the oiler. Who you know? I honestly don't know. And some the screws. I mean, it don't look like it's actually been apart. All the screws look straight. It just looks like it's been painted at one time. But uh, so what I'll do, get this order to where I don't lose it or screw it up. And the cap, so we'll get some two cycle. Take it outside, drop a little two cycle down in there, and we'll see if it uh, tries to kick. If it tries to kick, we'll get it apart, clean everything up, make sure the fuel lines. I mean that one's. Right there, going up to the carb, it's rock hard. So, I was going to put some in the tank and just try to fire it up, and I'm afraid it'll leak. You know, just being this old, so we'll, we'll prime it and then see what happens from there. See if she fires. All right, here we go. It is nine o'clock at night. We're supposed to have, we got, it's been raining off and on all day. We got severe thunderstorms rolling in overnight here in Columbus. But we're going to see if this thing will bark to life. Got the carbs open. It is turned on. And today's flavor is 
special blend of reindeer fuel for the holidays. So we'll give her a little shot and see what happens. Hopefully this thing will kick. I'm hoping. Just a little bit. That's probably too much, but that's all good. Uh, yep, there we go. Straight down the throat. So we'll see if that's enough to get it to do something. Might be, might not, who knows. All right, let's see what happens. So we're on, it's primed. I know it was hard to pull when I first got it out of the shed. Well, nothing yet. Here we go. We know it's getting sparked. We know it runs. So that's a start, right? It's a start. Let's try it again. We'll see if we can blow the cobwebs out of it. Yeah, let's give it a little more. Just to be doing it. Oh, boy, she kicked back that time. Trying to keep it running a little bit, but no luck. She said, No, senor. There we go. Good enough. I'll get myself in trouble. <laughs> All right, we'll get her down in the basement and uh, rip into it. Yep, screw it. Curiosity is getting the best of me. I want to see if it'll fire up and run. I got. I went ahead and put, uh, looks like it's probably at least half a tank in it. You can see the line, it's definitely submerged. I don't see nothing leaking. I'm going to go ahead and try to start it up. Curiosity is getting the better of me. I'll go ahead and prime it again. If you know it runs. Oop, and I'm spilling it everywhere. That's probably more than enough. On. Choke's open. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, now she's kicking. Just want to make sure I got you guys in there. Come on, baby. Alright, that's enough. You have people looking out their windows now. <laughs> like, what is this fool doing? Man, it runs. Success. Actually, you know, another score because as old as this is and a carburetor that functions, heck yeah. That's a thumbs up by itself right there. All right, we'll get it downstairs. Uh, we'll tear into it a little bit because I want to uh, get this plug out for sure. And let me take a look at some stuff since we're out here and just had it fired up. She definitely needs cleaned up obviously to get the dirt out of it but uh only thing i see leaking is what i just spilt priming that carb everything's working man sweet that's a win that's a win i just got to get a chain for it cool all right we'll get down in the basement and uh we'll start uh messing with it we have freaking reindeer fuel man it works miracles <clears throat> did find some nice aluminum shavings inside the case if it's just from years of use or there was nothing making noise we had it out there running so you can see them it's their 
what you can see inside of here this is where you cover where your pull string is when you pull it they uh, you know they spread out they spread out grab the inside to engage it to spin the motor for you if I can get where you guys can see in there but it's like uh, let me try that light there we go see if I can get that lit up where it's like super super shiny in there if you guys can see that there's aluminum shavings everywhere so I don't know if that's just from years of use because I definitely didn't hear any scraping and grinding and anything crazy when it was out there running but other than that she's coming apart and she's starting to clean up pretty good so I'll get it back together and let's check it out well there we go I did get the plug out of course I don't have one of these I have to pick one up sometime this weekend it's a champion cj6 i have everything but a cj6 that i can find and uh i got it out i got lucky i didn't have to take because uh, i thought i was going to uh, disassemble the whole thing and uh glad i didn't but uh so i had a plug or a, a, a socket to get the plug out i don't know if you can see uh, you probably won't be able to see it in there, but where the ends. There's one of them there. You can see where they're uh, they're rounded off. That thing was like super tight. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it without splitting the case open. But uh, it actually came out. Cleaned the bar up a little bit. Just took a wire wheel and knocked some of the garbage off of it on both sides and gave it a shot of cheapo spray paint try to stop the rust a little bit which now it, you know it'll be down here in the basement now so still have to worry about moisture a little bit but it cleaned up pretty decent I can tell you I was gonna paint it clean it up really good and paint it but I changed my mind I think it'll take away the uh, for me anyway it'll that's knocked all the garbage off it's still a little wet but it'll take away the uh, vintage look so I think I'll just leave the paint the way it is be nice to find a new rubber for the handle though it keeps wanting to I mean, it has a little groove on it the stuff just it shrank over the years and it's deformed a little bit and how many times you push it in and get it to click in place it it just pops back out but it cleaned up pretty good can't believe it ran. That's a real surprise. I'm sure the neighbors are loving it, but they'll get over it. But uh, so I don't honestly know the true color of this thing. If it's actually supposed to, the pictures I've seen of them online, they are orange. But uh, it does have that blue. I should have showed you when the, this is off. You can see that blue right there. There's actually um, the blue here, and it goes straight down towards. Um, I guess it'd be the head it's all blue like that so I don't know it's uh you know not much into vintage chainsaws or anything the only ones I've had is uh real old anyway older is this Remington and uh, that home light that we was messing with in the last video um which I don't know or I have a 18 inch craftsman I guess it's got a few years on it but it's nothing you know it's not as old as these but had it for quite a few years the case I really don't think I'll be able to do anything with it I guess it's kind of cool to actually have it and I can try to get some of the nastiness off of it but it'd be you know, a different story if it wasn't uh, you know it's all it is is fake leather and you can see where it's all cracked around the bottom and everything so I don't know one of these days I might clean it up and just to keep it with it I guess. I thought it was just kind of cool to actually have the original case with it. I thought that was kind of neat. But it's the thing is like that case is like super fragile man. It's it's in pretty rough shape. I mean the zipper and everything still works but it's in rough shape but this I can't believe this all still runs but like I was saying it's uh, all the information 
I dug up online, and if I can still find it, is uh, this says the year introduced was 1977. They're 34.4 cc, um, eight and a half pounds, one man operation. And it doesn't really give a whole lot. Fuel ratio is 16 to 1. And that's really about it. And it says it can take a 10 inch, uh, 10 inch bar or a 14 inch. And I don't know if it's original or not bar. Um, there's nothing on it. It has a part number on it. I guess I could run that possibly. But uh, it doesn't say Remington on it or anything like that. But it's uh, I'll keep it with it. I'll find a chain for it and uh, get everything working right. But the the other cool part is uh, the oiler for it. You got your choke, which is pretty cool. I like how it just slides out and covers the carb. But you got your throttle or how you can just set it like that, hit it, and it comes back out. But this is your oiler here. Ooh, I missed a dirt spot. To uh, you can either manually pump it to get your oil going. Or when you, as you're working the throttle, you can see the oil, how the oiler button automatically it just they're linked together. So as you're hitting the trigger, it's it's still pumping oil. So you can see that it's working off the trigger, or if you're just sitting there, you can just you, know, you can just pump it. You can hear it. You can hear it blowing air. So that oiler should work. You know, yeah. See, there was nothing in it. At least it didn't look like it. But uh, cover fits a little loose for the covers the carb. You know, the air filter and everything, but we expect I mean this thing's however old uh, it's hard to tell I mean I could I'll, if I get bored one of these days I'll try running the serial number for it but I'm pretty sure we can look real quick I'm just kind of curious I'm pretty sure because there's nothing around the case that tells what this is and it's not by the carb or anything so I don't know if that's something to do. And yeah, it feels like oil, so that must be maybe the only thing I can think of is that screw, which I'm sure someone out there is real familiar with these old chainsaws. So the only thing I can think of is the screw has something to do with the oil chamber on possibly adjusting the amount of oil possibly you know that comes out to go to go to your bar. I'd know for sure if I'd have went ahead and took it all apart, but guess I could have just to know for sure but it definitely goes in a lot farther than yeah so it's bottomed out right there when it's flush it's bottomed out so my guess is something to do with the oiling system when how much oil comes out to go to the bar for your chain would be my guess but uh, believe it at that it turned out uh, pretty nice I mean I doubt this thing will even get used it'll probably be just do a Clean the case up the best I can, throw it back in the case, and well, after I, I gotta drain the fuel back out of it, and uh, it probably just set in the case and never get used. But I will find a chain for it, though, just so it's complete. But that's it. It runs. I can't believe it runs. I tell you, it's been in my shed for uh, at least at least two years. It's just been sitting in there, covered up with you know weed eater parts and everything else and uh, it's one of those things it's out of sight out of mind I had so much stuff in there and then we was planning on moving right before the housing went all crazy and the other stuff started getting rid of all the two cycle stuff I had out there and then came across it and put it at the top you know to the side so I remember it was there so we finally got it down in here and she runs runs good actually i'm really surprised but uh thanks for watching guys it's almost too much of an easy win but uh definitely thank you for watching uh so remember we're still trying to get the channel to grow so share subscribe get the word out and uh this was a win but i think it was a lucky win so I'm surprised this thing ran. It seemed awful easy for it to fire up like that. Especially for me having it sitting in a shed through, you know, year round for a couple years. But uh, thank you for watching. And hopefully the next video will be uh, 
something on one of these trucks is the plan or possibly that car that we'll try to get something done before Christmas so if I don't get to make a video before then Merry Christmas Happy Holidays whatever it is you celebrate for the holidays have a good one to you and your family I wish you the best thank you for watching